What's up, guys? We got our episode 8 title! Yes! I was not expecting this, like, at all. I was totally expecting them to give us an episode 8 title with, like, the first teaser trailer at Celebration. Because uh, they, they... I can't think of what they're going to use for their... Um, like, their their Han or Chewy were home moment. Uh, so I was expecting that they were going to use the title for that moment in their celebration trailer that I, we have to be getting in April. Um, but apparently, no, apparently Twitter and Instagram is where they wanted to announce it, which, okay, I'm okay with it. Uh, except for the fact that it's so abstract. I don't understand what it means. <laughs> it's... It could mean, you well, know, Lucasfilm has been doing this with this new trilogy, it appears, where they're, they're doing more of like a, a very abstract naming scheme, a very deliberately arbitrary name. Uh, you know, in episode one, it's Phantom Menace. Yeah, we know what the Phantom Menace is. It's the rising darkness that's coming to take over the galaxy and et cetera, et cetera. And uh, uh, Return of the Jedi, well, the the Jedi Return. Um, Empire Strikes Back, the Empire punches back after losing the Death Star. But like with like TFA, what awakened? Was it Rey awakening? Was it just a general return of the light side to the galaxy with Rey? Is it, does it mean that it's just the force is finally coming back into the galaxy to basically say, uh, no, you guys are all doing this wrong. So here, fine. I'll hold your hand by, you know, making sure that Ray stays on the light side by blasting a massive ravine in between Ray and Kylo before she kills Kylo. I, I don't know what that. It, it's, it's much more abstract and much more open to interpretation. And I think that's deliberate. And they did it again with this title, and I, again, I have no idea what this means. Uh, we know that Luke is considered in the in the universe to be the last of the Jedi because he he's named as such in the TFA opening crawl. I think in the first paragraph, and I don't know whether or not they're planning on whether or not they're trying to put emphasis on Luke or Luke and Ray, uh, we could just, this could just be a hint that the story is going to revolve around Luke and Ray, which I guess we kind of already guessed at this point. Um, then again, we could be seeing the death of the term Jedi uh, for a lot of reasons. We know that, especially in this new canon, they're concentrating on uh, accentuating the differences and the difficulties in between and, or shouldn't say differences and difficulties. I should say things that, uh, negatives or downsides to the Jedi and their hypocrisies, like, you know, how they're much more clinical in the prequels with their metachorians and the, you know, they make bad decisions and they keep, you know, making little consequences and uh, by or uh, not consequences. Uh, compromises with their faith and stuff like that with, you know, trying to kill Dooku or assassinate Dooku uh, a couple of times in the Clone Wars and a couple of times in the um, and uh, obviously Dark Disciple. So it could just be that Luke tried to, you know, rebuild his Jedi Order in the same form as the original Jedi Order, you know, based on, you know, things like Obi-Wan's journals or uh, just like some of the stuff that we got in Heir to the Jedi where he's learning a little bit about how the Force works and stuff like that. Uh, and he's... And we know that he spent a lot of time, just judging from what I've read on the comics and stuff like that, he spent a lot of time trying to learn about the old Jedi. So maybe he based his new order off of that and it didn't work out. In addition to that, something that might be a little bit weird 
is that and more realism brought into the galaxy is that the term Jedi might still be considered uh, a, a really bad thing. I mean, Palpatine took over the galaxy and ran it for 20 something years screaming from the rooftops that the Jedi, well, for the first five years, I guess after the Clone Wars, he pretty much did nothing but villainize the Jedi. And then he tried to make people forget about them. So the only, the last memory that the Galactic Republic, or the Galactic Public, I should say, uh, did anything... Uh, the last time that they were thinking about the Jedi, they were thinking about them in a negative light. So it's a strong possibility that Luke's Jedi Order that Kylo destroyed might have been seen as... Hey, now that's just another crazy cult that's gonna ruin the galaxy. You know, uh, I have no idea what this title means. I mean, I'm just kind of throwing crap out there, and I wish if I had more time, but unfortunately, I'm supposed to be leaving for work here in about 45 minutes. Eh, whatever. But I really wanted to get this video out there. I wanted to start a conversation with you guys. I wanted to know what you guys think about this. <clears throat> um. You know, do you think that Luke might end up dying in this film because, well, The Last of the Jedi? Is it just them putting emphasis on uh, the Luke and Rey storyline that we're going to get? Uh, or do you think that um, I'm onto something maybe with the, the whole public perception thing of the Jedi, the term Jedi? Uh... Let me know what you think in the comments down below, or you can follow me on social media down, uh, I've got those links down in the description, uh, or on Twitch on next Sunday, I'll be streaming as always at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope to see you guys there, and as always, may the force be with you.